Hi guys, what's up? This is Dr. Lassam Mohamed. I woke up to our online clinic. Yeah, um, two days back, I got a mail from a patient of mine and she was kind of complaining that um, she wanted to leave a marriage. So I was like, oh, what's up? What's the problem? She was like, she's having sexual issues in which her husband doesn't satisfy her and whenever she complains, her husband gets angry. Now, um, this the reason why I'm, why I'm doing this video is because of this. The reason why I'm doing this video is because of 90% of marriages has been dissolved because of the issue of sexual satisfaction. Yeah, it is very correct. And the truth is this. There are 90% of men that have um, quick ejaculation or men that cannot go more than one round after sexual intercourse. Now, this video is for me to teach you how you can satisfy your wife and how your wife can satisfy the husband also. Now, if you check statistics, as I said earlier, there are ninety percent of men that doesn't satisfy their wife in in the, in the sense in the sense of they can't go more than one round, and even their first round doesn't last more than five to seven minutes. And because um normally norm, on a normal health um health man health healthy man is this, your first sexual round should not be more than um at most too much seven minutes, and if you're a person that can go um second round the second round should should last more than seven to eight minutes because the second round is more longer than the first round it's normal and there are some women that it's very hard for them to get to climax because some women when they get to climax they tend to um there's a word called squirt squirt means because a woman also release releases some um, kind of um fluid substance also that is squirting so there are some women that it takes them so long for them to um, get to climax, but there are some women also that it's very easy. Once you just um, touch them or kiss them, they tend to be so wet and they get to um, squirt. Now, women are different, and for women that get to climax easily, there are very, very few. Out of 100%, you have just like 5 to 7 percent of women that get to climax easily. Why well, have some women, uh, why the many 90 percent, you have people that. I don't get to climax easily. So people are different. You should understand or you should know the kind of partner you are having. So you don't have issue when it comes to sexual intercourse. Now back to the topic of discussion. Now for men, as I said, there are men have issues of um, quick ejaculation, most men. Now to do this, the only way that can, you can um, help in satisfying, um, satisfying your wife during sexual intercourse is by, first of all, try to have long foreplay. Yeah. Long foreplay will help you in satisfying your wife. But well, there's some men that have this ideology that once they're with a woman, they, they just want to insert and start sexual intercourse instantly. They just want, they just want their penis to get into, into the vagina and they just want to have sex. Now the thing is this: for you to for the the main meaning of sexual intercourse is if people engage into sexual intercourse just for two reasons: first, either for childbearing, or secondly, just for pleasure. Now people that um, want to um, have sexual intercourse for Childbearing, no problem. You can just have sex within two, three minutes. You are done, and just after the sperm getting to sperm getting to the um vagina, and she gets um, pregnant, and that that all that. But the truth is that um people have um engaged sexual intercourse more for um fun than childbearing because the maximum number of children you can have is at most if it's too much four or five. Because after the f um, fifth child, you don't have want to have more children, but you still want to have sexual intercourse. So this sexual intercourse we having is more of um just for fun and for relaxation. Now that is why you have to bring what the other word foreplay. Foreplay is very important for you to enjoy your sexual life. For women, they enjoy foreplay more than men. But since it is a union, you know, since she's, she's your wife, she's your partner, you have to what have the what they call sacrifice for you for your wife to get to what at least to. A middle point of climax. So when you once so when you now engage into proper sexual intercourse, then you are getting to climax. She's getting to climax, and everywhere is good and everybody's happy. Now the thing is this: for um foreplay, most women like um kisses a lot during foreplay, and they lo love um um caressing their breasts, especially the nipple because the nipple are made of nipple is made of um, a lot of um sensual and nerves they have they are very, very um, sensitive nerves in the nipple so when you when you suck and suck the nipple then you try to massage when you're massaging her breast make sure that you don't um press it so hard that like as if you're um 
pressing an orange because that can lead to um her having sad breasts just a little caressing and um kissing and sucking a nipple will help and some women they have um there are some points in their body that um give them more orgasm for women is very different so you have to know the kind of wife you are having so just try to um study her whenever you're, 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 you're um doing you're in having sex or foreplay there are some points in her body you touch that make her moan harder there's some point to touch that does make her make, make make her mute example if you are like kissing her and touching her ears you think you see that she's mourning harder but that means that that point is like a triggering part and there are some points that are touching and she's not responding and nothing just know that that point is not is a no-go area it doesn't give any results so just try to know the kind of partner you're having and engage in more foreplay that will help in boosting your sexual life and for the women also Always try to um, be patient with your husband, especially if he, if he's a one-minute man. Because there are some men that after they have done their sex center course, after they are done with the first minute, they can rest for like um, 15 to 20 minutes. They tend to get, regain back their strength to continue sexual intercourse. So just try to um, be patient with him. Then after he has, after he has released, don't try to touch him. Don't try to um, romance him and stuff like that. That will make him come back and have another um, erection then you continue sexual intercourse because there's some some women after their after their husband have ejaculated and within two minutes yeah, he's not he's not he's not having an erection they get angry and just leave the bed and that's off for the, that's off for the night but just try to caress him touch him and i bet within 15 20 minutes we have another erection and for men if you always have this idea the idea is this if you always think that um, I don't want to, I don't want to release, I don't want to release, and you're having sexual intercourse, and at the back of your mind you just tell yourself, ah, please, I want to, start, I want to um, impress this lady, I don't want to release, you will definitely release because you, you have it at the back of your mind. But just um, when you're having sexual intercourse, just have it at the back of your mind that you're just having it for fun sake, you're just having fun, and don't bring the idea of um, ejaculating. Because when you bring the idea of, idea of ejaculating, you definitely ejaculate. Because it deals with your, it, it deals with your senses, your, your cycle. Once you tell yourself, I don't want to do this, and, you are, and your mind is always leading to that um, point that I don't want to, it will, it will surely happen. So just remove your mind from, you don't want to um, ejaculate, or you don't want to come. Just move your mind up there. And just enjoy what's going on. Feel free and express yourself. And again, there are some sexual position that would help you not to last longer a position that um, doesn't make you feel so comfortable because when you feel so comfortable during, during sexual intercourse you surely come but in a, for a position in which you are not comfortable but the sex is going on you will you tend to last longer and there are some different sexual positions that which i don't know their names but just put in, in, in back of your mind that any position you are in and you are not too comfortable with it maybe the way you are standing the way you are lying the way you are um squatting you are not um feeling comfortable then you might la you, might, you tend to last longer during that sexual position but don't put yourself at the, at the detriment of giving yourself injury just because you don't want to um come no but just know that any comfort, any position you are, you are there, not comfortable, you tend to last longer. And for the ladies, please don't stop, um, don't don't um, push your husband too hard. Because once you push your husband too hard, they tend to go take some kind of drink and um, some kind of drugs that will make them um, last longer. And once they start, start taking this drug, it's like it's, it's like an addictive stuff. They tend to be addicted in taking it. That without taking it, they might not even have erection to go for the first round. And once it is done for the for so long, to be done for so long, it tends to damage their um, male organ and their male their testes, and it can lead to life infertility, um, life life um, sterility or infertility in men. Now, for for men also, I'll tell you, please try not to sit down in a position for so long because sitting down on a position, you tend you tend to sit on your um prostrate. Now, the prostrate is a tiny organ that helps you in um holding your during when, when you're trying to um, ejaculate and try to um, close your urethra when, when, you're, when you're trying to um, release palm. Now, if you sit for too long, it damages your prostate. And when your prostate is damaged, that other one of the things that also leads towards quick ejaculation. So try not to sit down in the position for more than two hours. Once I've sat down for like one and thirty minutes, try to what? Stand up, walk around a little, then come back and sit down. So that's will protect your prostate. And once your prostate is protected, then you tend to have a healthy. Um, sexual life yeah i hope this um few point of mind can help revive some people from person's marriage when it comes to sexuality yeah thank you very much and god bless you